Hey, how's everybody doing today? So, finally, I make another video. I know it's been a while, but I got something pretty cool today. So, I've been going to the gun shows, uh, picked up another cool bayonet. Now, this one is one of my favorites. Okay, so this is a Yugo bayonet. Check this thing out. I love the wire cutter feature that it has on here. So if you take a look, and this is like beefy, heavy duty, like all steel. And if you open it up, you have the attachment point on the knife. So this one's kind of used up, so I don't mind demonstrating. Let's see, I think it goes this way. So you lock these two together. And then if you come across some wire that you need to cut, you just scissor them together and you can chop up some wire. So that is a very neat feature. So uh, it looks like it has a nice like uh, nickel plating on the blade. It's fairly sure. Actually, no, nah, this guy's not sharp at all, but it doesn't look like it's been used very much. It's got some uh, uh, abrasions on it, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. Um, not bad, I think I paid, I think I paid 30 bucks for this. Now, I have been going through the Yugo Bayonets for a while. I bought one and then I sold it and then I regretted selling it. So then I bought another one and then ended up selling that one again. And again, I regretted selling it. So then I stumbled across this one. So I think I'm just gonna hang on to this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, it has matching uh, numbers on there. So you see the serial number on the handle. And is it matching? Let's see. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, matching serial numbers on the sheath as well. Now, this one has a nice uh, metal, heavy-duty, um, I think you call this the pommel. But this would be the part, if you had a uh, rifle, this would attach to the rifle at this point, And that would go on the barrel, I believe. Um, and it has this nice uh, leather hanger here, frog, I think it's called. So it's got this good quality, pretty thick leather frog. Um, and a nice thing you can do with this is uh, you can kind of attach it to your belt upside down or wherever you want. It's got very good, strong retention. So if you wanted to hang it on like your belt or um, on a suspender or something, you could hang it upside down and then have it uh, readily available uh, if you needed to use it for some reason, uh, whittling wood or, or whatever you would use this for. So take a look at that blade. So I think this is called a drop point blade, if I'm correct, or like a Bowie or something, I don't know, something like that. Um, it's cool, the handle is like a uh, heavy plastic polymer material. Um, it has another attachment here. You'll see there's a hole here in the pommel and this hook here. So I think originally it has like a leather strap that goes from here to here so that it doesn't fall out of your hand uh, when you're using it. But uh, you'll see that the handle is pretty beefy. It, um, uh, you know, I got what, medium to large size hands and it fills my hand pretty well. So it's really nice. It's, uh, I mean, it's not really balanced well. <laughs> it's like all the weight is in the handle. Um, but it's still a pretty cool knife. So for like 30 bucks, <clears throat> if you bought a knife at Walmart for 30 bucks, uh, I don't think you would get the same quality as you do for like getting these used uh, surplus bayonets. I think you get, you get a lot of your money's worth uh, when you buy these guys. So, and this thing, I don't know how old this is, what, maybe, if it's like, this is probably like 40, 50 years old, I don't know. Maybe it was made in the 90s, maybe it's like 30 years old, and it's it's really held up well. It's not like rusty or anything, and it's it's solid. It also has this saw back. I don't know how useful this is at all. It doesn't seem like it would be very useful, but hey, it's got that on there as well. And uh, this part is also all like nice metal, heavy duty, so it's not gonna break on you. So these would make good, I think, would make great like survival knives, something you can throw in your pack for cheap, and you know you have a nice, uh, good quality knife that you can use. 
Um, yeah, but uh, it's, it's really nice. I like it. And let's see what else is in here. What else did I talk about? So this is plastic. I think this is like a metal insert. Um, the inside has like metal retention for the blade. Uh, this looks like it's brass and this is leather. The strap is leather. Yeah, these are really cool. Um, so, so far I've showed, like I have a collection of these guys. So I have a Yugo, I have a Chinese one, I have a Bulgarian. So I think I'm gonna, if I can find a Romanian bayonet, try to pick one of those up and, and show you guys. I also have a set me video, uh, set me bayonet. Um, so yeah, I'll see what other bayonets I can get. I also might do a few videos on some of the other like pocket knives and uh, folding knives that I have. But anyways, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's any other knives you'd like to see. But uh, yeah, once again, it's a cool uh, Yugo original military bayonet. See you guys later.